Hey there, welcome to Pixels Refresh. Got Graham here with me again. And today we're looking at the release trailer for Forza Horizon 5. Now, Graham is actually a fan of Forza. So uh, anything you're excited to see here? Yep, I have been playing Horizon since Horizon 2, which was what, 2014? So I think so. I've been involved in the series for a while, I would say, to see how uh, the visuals have progressed from Xbox 360 days to Xbox Series X. Yeah. And also, finally, these games have always had generally really, really, really good. I Tech. would say, honestly, Visual is ahead of its time for, for their games. Yeah, like, yeah. Every single one is next gen. Uh, I was watching Digital Foundry talking about this today, and they were mentioning the mm -hmm. fact that they have Forza Motorsport and Forza Horizon, and they can get the cars built in really high detail for motorsport and then they can yeah. port them to horizon from motorsport so it's like they mm -hmm. can take advantage of the one property to have the models to put into the other property do you and play them other things yeah do you I... play uh motorsport at all or are you just horizon I played Motorsport five and six I was mostly mostly but mostly just a horizon person I would say though I found the, the gameplay a lot more interesting and something I would play more often it's a lot more arcadey i would say which i did enjoy yeah i i believe can kind of go anywhere right and that's the fun in it mm -hmm. you can drive to places so it's like they have to account for much more of the environment i yeah. typically only play racing games at the beginning of generations because i'm so excited by new hardware that i want to see yeah. unless it's like mario kart i play mario kart all the time but mm -hmm. other racing games it's just like i really want to see what the hardware can do so i play hardcore racers typically at the beginning of each generation and then that's it for me mm -hmm. but anyways let's check out the trailer uh, let me switch over. Perfect. Oh, you got no sound. Probably going to get copyright claimed again for the whatever the recording they use for the sound. Oh, oh speaking wait. of skies, I watched a video that some of the devs talked about. Yeah. Um, apparently, all these like skyboxes are like 16K maps that had a photographer go out and just take photos for months. Wow. Which is kind of cool. I guess it would so, have to be 16K because the portion that would be on screen might even be less than 4K at 16K. Yeah, yeah. So it's probably some sort of virtual texture technology. So it's only like actually rendering a part of the texture that's needed at that certain amount of time. Oh, cool. So just. Well, they couldn't do it as video feed. It would just be no. too big file size yeah. wise. So they would need some way to, to feed that information into a simulation would be my guess. Yeah. Yeah, immediately looking at like this gameplay trailer, I've noticed from Horizon 4 and previous games, the yeah. smoke effects look so much better in this one. Yeah, I, definitely the, volumetric. So the even like random assets, like the water looks mm. good, the the sand looks good. Sand is hard to make look good sometimes. Yeah. The I they're not using. I know they're not using ray trace reflections for the. No. Uh, so they, but I mean, they still look good. Whether it's Every like. I'm pretty sure it's cube maps, I would say. You think it's yeah. cube? Mm -hmm. yeah. It doesn't seem to have screen space artifacts, you're right. Because no. it's like, could be like several things. Man, like the LODs in this are nuts for the speed yeah. that you're going through. I think that the that Horizon games, the Horizon games do as well. Like since the game is moving, since the camera is moving so fast, they kind of do phobia rendering, I think it's called. Oh, well, yeah, where so, they blur the outside pixels on the screen. So yeah, so it's like, what, half resolution is just being blurred, so you can't tell. It's the yeah, when you do that stuff under, and when it's in the depth of field pass, you can get away with quite a lot in that regard. Yeah. yeah the sand looks really, really good. Yeah, the deformation in it's pretty good, too. Do we have any deformation? Yeah. Yes. Oh, man. Even, like, fields and stuff. Honestly, I like the, the general world building on these games, like the how everything flows together so nicely and it's also believable. It's just kind of impressive in terms of like the entire process of designing everything. Even with Forza Horizon 4, they've always had such good art direction with their yeah. their trailers. Like they, I know that I think it was the four that they did the season transition where it just yeah. like literally swipes season and you play it like that. So it's like the trailer yeah. shows that, but when you play the first mission in four, it like literally just swipes seasons mid driving. And it's like pretty yeah, remarkable. Instantly. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, it's already loaded obviously. And then they're just oh, yeah. swapping it, but it's just, just kind of, it's kind of impressive. Yeah. I, the water, I don't know. The that particles, okay. The one thing, the water particles. <laughs> Got to complain, something to complain. The materials are really good. Like wood looks like wood. Yeah. Different things look like, like in, the, even the, the engine animating. 
The way that the wheels interact, like the physics on it, it's pretty nuts when you're like... Really, really good. Oh man, those are really good for probably screen space reflections or cute maps. The I have to say that they're doing an amazing job showing different like weather conditions because like that looks muddy and wet, right? And it's yeah. you know it's one of these things where it's like before they used to have trouble like wet they've always been able to do, but now they can do like mm. every type of weather really well. Like I remember with Gran Turismo three or whatnot, the wet looked really good and everything else looked okay, right? It's mm -hmm. like and with this, it's like they're really starting to master everything. Oh. Motion blur is really nice. Yeah. The the soft um, runoff of this, the bloom, bloom yeah. coming on it, it's uh it's not overstepping. It's just enough mm -hmm. to make it uh, look like it's coming from a camera. I wonder what they're doing for their like global illumination. I'm kind of curious how how that works in this engine. They're yeah I um I heard them talk about it. They used to be using a voxel based. I think they're still using some variant of it. So mm. like when it comes to global illumination, you can bake your lights or you can uh, use like a, a sparse kind of voxel grid where you like literally fill the scene with voxels and then you can you can kind of use them to interpolate how much light or bounce would be in that area or you can use distance fields like our Unreal uses where you literally have the objects telling other objects that send this color out this distance right there's like there's several things they can do to do indirect light but i'm i'm i think it might still be voxel based mm -hmm. I, I think i'm not sure though that was good yeah. I, i'm gonna play it tomorrow when it comes out yeah it, co it comes out it comes out tonight at 12. 12 well so I, mean, I can't download yeah. it in time so <laughs> you can pre-download it <laughs> yeah i guess but i mean that looks really good i think that's a, yeah. a extremely impressive demo i think um i mean it's one of these things i though i play, whenever i played forza games though they were i've never felt deceived by the trailers so usually it was a pretty good match for what was in the trailers when you actually play the games some games are more deceptive than that and i, I don't feel like forza has ever really ever been that to me so mm -hmm. i'll give it a try um just from a tech perspective because I think that there's a lot of really interesting things going on. I think it's one of the first racing games that actually looks next gen. Um, there was the other one, the motorcycle one, that looked pretty good too. I can't remember what oh, it's yeah, called. Oh yeah, yeah, what's it called? Um, I forget. Yeah, but I think that like for a full featured racing game, this is pretty impressive, and it's also the starting point for what the rest of the Forza games will look like. Because if it's mm -hmm. anything like the Xbox One generation or the 360 generation, they're just going to look better and better as the time goes on. Because uh playground and what's the other one that uh turn 10 turn 10 yeah their cadence has been ridiculous every year one of them does one and then they basically have two years to make a game <laughs> and they, they didn't make it they did make a motorsport last year which is kind of interesting so hopefully the next is going to be they might another visual jump i'd be curious if they waited like one more year gave them one extra year to just do a big tech bump um yeah. that would be awesome but i can't guarantee that I, their tech's already so good so I'm curious, though, because they think they're in a good position to dethrone Gran Turismo once and for all, if they, from a tech perspective. I, th I think they already did. Yeah, well, you don't want to say that too loud. The Gran Turismo fans take it a little personally, yeah. but not. we love you, Gran Turismo fans. Nothing against you. But from my, I, I do feel like there's something about the cars and how they interact that feels a little bit more real, but I definitely think the environments yeah. are looking much better in Forza. So, but... I don't know. Wait and see. They're, they're both great looking games. And mm -hmm. I'm curious to see how this pans out. I think, um, you know, there's always opportunity to put ray tracing on the table. There's opportunities to put other things. I think that within the next two or three years, we're going to start seeing some very efficient forms of ray tracing and um, or ways to use those RT, that RT hardware. So mm -hmm. anyways, um, any other thoughts? I don't think so. Okay. Well, I think that's it for this one. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.